John Darer, and I'd like to take time to talk to you a little about structured settlement scams and structured settlement ripoffs. Is there really such a thing as a structured settlement scam or ripoff? You might have read something on something called ripoff report or piss consumer or could be any other type of uh, me social media these days. But the reality of it is there's no such thing as a structured settlement scam if you really understand what a structured settlement is. So let me take you through it. A structured settlement is set up as part of the resolution of a claim. Uh, there is one party or perhaps multiple parties who are wrongdoers or have been alleged of some type of wrongdoing uh, on a civil type basis, not a criminal type basis. Um, and there's somebody else who is a victim and the victim is being compensated for their loss. A settlement itself by definition is a compromise. Uh, neither party uh, is 100 percent happy but it's a compromise and one party in order for there to be a settlement there has to be a settlement agreement or contract. Contract has to be executed by both sides so there's an agreement and normally both sides are, are represented by attorneys. If it's a minor uh, not only is it represented by an attorney but there might also be a guardian could be the parent as a guardian, it could be, uh, it could be a court-appointed guardian, but there's a guardian. So everybody is represented in the transaction. It's not like you can get a structured settlement and just get one if you are a minor. Um, and if you're an adult, um, you are represented by counsel. Your counsel reads the agreement and goes over the agreement with you. So basically, what, as I said, what happens, there's a, a party who has been accused of wrongdoing of some sort on a civil type basis somebody um, who has felt, feel, feels they've been wrong, there's a settlement, there's a compromise. So when there's a structured settlement, instead of paying in a lump sum or a portion of, instead of paying in a lump sum, is paid on a negotiated periodic basis. Now I use the word negotiated, it's very, very important. Um, negotiated, as, it's, as I'm sure you know, means uh, that this is something that's customized. It's something that's customized to meet a person's needs. Hopefully the person has had some authorship over the way the periodic payments have been designed. So as you can see, it's not a scam. Um, this is something that is reviewed by attorneys for both sides. It's reviewed by a judge. An adult should read through the documents. And it is not a scam. Okay? Insurance companies which, are, uh, which issue annuities which are predominantly the funding instrument that's you, that are used for structured settlements are highly regulated financial institutions. Many of these institutions have been in existence for over 150 years. Companies such as New York Life, MetLife, for using as an example, have been around since before the Civil War. Um, every year they have to have their financial statements audited uh, by every state insurance department in which they do business. Um, you know that they're being regulated because every once in a while um, you see uh, articles in the newspaper about an insurance company being fined for whatever the reason. It could be that there's something wrong with their advertising, but they pay their fines and they move on. Um, you see that um, it's just not possible for there to be a structured settlement scam. The best way to protect yourself if you're looking into a structured settlement is to make sure that the agent or broker, structured settlement broker or settlement planner who is soliciting you is licensed to do business in your state. It's very simple to find that out. Um, you simply go to the insurance department in your state, but for example, uh, it could be State of Connecticut Department of Insurance or Florida, it's Department of Financial Services. Go to the, the insurance department in your state. Most states have an online agent or broker look up. You can look up the agency or you can look up the individual and you can see whether or not they're in good standing in your state. If they're in good standing in your state, it means that um, your state has, uh, you know, collected uh, uh, fees from them, has reviewed them. Uh, your agent has to uh, certify at renewal of, of certain business practices and there is regulatory oversight over your agents. If the um, agent that you're dealing with is also dealing with securities. Some people who are involved in structured settlements are also involved in wealth management and financial advisory work. Um, some of these people are also licensed uh, through other securities regulatory bodies such as FINRA, uh, which has what's called FINRA Broker Check. You can find that online. 
And if somebody is a financial advisor, the SEC has an online repository of information about people to, so you can check to see if people are in good standing. So when you read stuff from you know, sites like Ripoff Report and Piss Consumer and uh, all sorts of other names, uh, you know, Yelp or what have you, many of these sites take information from people, uh, sometimes they're competitors, sometimes uh, they're not even customers, they're, they're completely fake. And I'm not saying everyone is, but um, we've discovered a number of them that are. And so it's much better for you to look at relevant, when it comes to financial services, relevant uh, critical commentary or relevant regulatory information. If somebody really was doing some of the things that appear on ripoff reports and piss consumers and other things like that, they wouldn't have their license. They wouldn't be rated uh, by the Better Business Bureau. Um, it just doesn't make any sense, a lot of the stuff that you read. So don't fear. Um, if you have any questions about this, um, you know, I do a lot of watchdog advocacy and um, highlight some bad business practices. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My name is John Darer. My toll-free number is 888-325-8640. Thanks so much and have a great day.